Hey everybody, good evening. I hope everybody has had a good day today. And I just wanted to get on here and do a little black and blue eyeshadow. Um, but first things first, my name is Courtney Menshouse and I'm a lead beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. And today I'm going to do a black and blue eyeshadow look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. Hey guys. So I have been dying to use this blue in this, um, this palette. I can't not do it. The Supernatural palette. So I'm going for it. So let's do this blue. <laughs> And probably black I might do a warmer base instead I'm really into like the the blue and like the warm tones so I might be doing that as well so I have this really pretty um, this is from Tarte what's it called it's called crisp hi Ju. and it's like a really pretty transition shade with blue I really like that kind of tan and blue color scheme right now um, seeing a lot of lives with it right now. My blush is like out of control today. So, I don't know. I just wanted to, so I know it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm not going anywhere, but hey, why not? So, let's start with a transition shade. I might add some black in there too, but let's do this tan color. It's called Crisp. I'm going to work this I changed my mind guys, it's not gonna be black. I'm gonna work this in first. Mainly because I can't make up my mind ever. This is a tart color by the way. If you're just tuning in. Limelight has a similar color to this. I just don't have it yet. And I really like this tart palette, so I use it a lot. It's the Tarte Pro to go, so I use it a lot. I'm just gonna build the other side up, and I'm not gonna worry so much about blending really well right this second because I will do all of that in a minute. But I like to put a transition shade on first because it's really hard to get these colors on after you start doing your darker colors like you really can't get into a transition shade which generally should just be the shade that you want in your crease and then it'll blend up into like your highlight hey y'all thanks for joining in the late night makeup fun i thought why not so the color, if you're just getting on, is this crisp from the Tarte, Tardius Pro to Go. I always get the little to go ones because you get like the best colors of the bigger palettes, in my opinion, for a fraction of the cost. So that's just my little tip and how I do that. This would actually be really pretty with just a lot shade down there. Okay, so we're not going to focus so much on blending right now because we're going to get our blue on. And I'm going to use both of these blues from the Supernatural palette that I got at Hot Topic. Um, Grace has a little bit, a tiny bit of shimmer to it. Not much, like just a little bit. It's almost metallic. And then I'm going to be using Jerk as well. Jerk was really, really pretty. My kids are fighting. It's okay their dad's in there somewhere so I'm actually going to use the little brush that they gave me with it because it's stiff and small and I can put have more control over my color so I'm going to be dipping into that that's really pretty this one has more pigment than some of the other ones that I used in a previous video from this palette and um that makes me happy like it was worth it for this blue because I can't find this blue anywhere without going to MAC I'm not a MAC girl I've never have been so I'm happy this blue is kind of what I've been looking for 
We'll just keep packing it on and then we can blend here in just a minute. And I'm trying to keep any color out of here because I try to do like a lighter a lighter shade um, or a highlight shade in the corner of my eye. Um, I just think that it opens your eyes up, makes them look big and bright and open. That's just a little, little tip from me to you. It's actually one of the pros tips from one of my trainings that I've had. So this blue is amazing. I want to make sure I'm getting it down on my lash line. So it'll blend well here in just a minute. That blue is super pigmented. I'm stoked. Okay. Back into jerk. That's what it's called. I'm not being mean, promise. I was dipping into another one the last time and someone thought I was calling them a name. Um, if you watch the show, then you know why the names of the colors and things. But this little brush has been really good to like pack this color on, so that makes me happy. Sorry. I was trying to tell me that my storage is full. Well, I know that. <laughs> Not trying to store anything right now. So it's not telling me everybody that has popped on. So if you're on here, let me know you're there. Throw up some hearts or likes and comment if you want. Tell me you're here. Facebook's being contrary lately. And not really letting me see who's on. So, hey Mandy. Hey Jade. Guys, this is Jerk from that Supernatural palette. It's very pigmented, so now I'm happy because the other ones weren't as pigmented as I wanted them to be. I know you all had watched the other one. I was going to do black and blue, and I decided that I like that warm crease, so I went with that. Changed my mind. Changed my mind. Girl, you totally could. You have, like, the best style ever. You just need to... You need to just borrow some of mine and play with them for a little bit. I'm going to smudge the blue underneath. Just to kind of repeat color. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my transition color. I think it just ties your look in when you do that. You do need this palette. I actually wasn't going to recommend anybody get this palette at first. I wasn't very happy with it. Um, some of the colors, I'm not going to lie to y'all, they're not pigmented. But some of them are. And this is one of them. The black is not as pigmented as I'm used to. But then again, I have pro, pro black over here. So that's probably why. But this is really good. And I haven't found this color anywhere. This blue like I said a minute ago, like from, that from MAC. And I'm just not a fan of MAC. It's nothing against them or the company or anything. I just, I find their products hard to work with. And I'm still learning. So I need stuff that blends easy. That's why I go for Tarte a lot. I'm using this Tarte, Tarteus Pro to go. This crisp color. That's what's in my crease. And I'm going to, I dipped back into it. And kind of blend this together. Now I left this. If you missed a minute ago, I leave this naked for a reason because I'm going to go back in with a highlight color. And it just kind of, if you go too dark in the corner of your eyes, it makes them look really closed off and really close to your to your nose. And then if you have wide set eyes, you want to do that, but I don't. So that's why I try to do that. Hey guys, little late night makeup. I wish I was going somewhere now. I'm kind of liking the way it's looking. So just kind of bring that down just a little bit. Whatever's left on the brush. Okay. Now bring that up just a little bit more. 
I love this brush because it's one of the limelight brushes. It's the pointed blender. And you can literally pick up your pigments and move them where you need them to be to work them. Some of the fluffier brushes that I was using before, you couldn't really pick the pigments up well. But these, you can. And that makes me happy. It makes it easier to blend, which makes your whole look kind of come together. Okay. So there's that. I don't really know what direction I'm going in next. I think I'm going to actually dip it back into this um, Supernatural palette. And I'm going to go into Grace. And that is the lighter blue. That was almost metallic. I wish I had a smaller brush to do this with. Right this second. But that's okay. Because I can blend. And Grace is really pigmented too. So the blues in that palette are very pigmented. Hey Wanda, here's your jerk. <laughs> A little jerk and grace for you. I feel like I'm making all kinds of horrid faces at y'all. Probably am. Blend those just a little bit. These do have fallout though, so be prepared to have like your foundation brush or sponge and just, you know, touch up. I mean, I did smudge some on purpose, but I don't want some right there. That's not a good spot for it. But as you can see, I switched out from my title. I'll have to change my title because <laughs> I said black and blue and I decided to do tan and blue. So, oops. I'm going to dip in a little bit and <laughs> it's called Aspot. And I really like this color too. And just kind of soften that darker edge up here. And other side with Aspot. And then I'm going to go back over that with some Free Will. And Free Will, I'll show it to you, is this one that's kind of got, well, if it'll focus for me, it's not going to. It's got shimmer to it. It's pretty much very similar in tone, but it's got a little shimmer to it. Great for highlighting your brow bone. See? How pretty. A little highlight is on your brow bone. Now, I don't have my brows done because I'm going to bed here in a minute. So, <laughs> I didn't like do full face. And then I think a little free will on top of that gray. So, I'll make it pop. And it did. I'm liking it. I still need to blend a little bit. So let's dust that off. There's always things you can go back and blend. You can always add product if you need to. And just keep layering it. Like, don't be afraid of them. It's just makeup. It's just pigment. So... I'm locking that pretty well. We need some eyeliner here. This is a CoverGirl crayon one. And it's got like a little bit of blue, but a little bit of purple too. And it always looks more purple on camera than it is, but it's actually a blue. I'm liking this. So, actually, you guys, tomorrow, if Hubby is up to it, if he gets home in time, we are going to attempt to do his makeup love. Not him doing mine. You heard me right. I will be applying products to his face. Um, but we're only going to do it if I can get so many people watching. So, tomorrow, when you see me live with him... 
make sure to like and share and invite your friends and get everybody on here so I can actually get some makeup on him because I think that that would be hilarious. <laughs> and he's such a good sport. I asked him and he was like, yeah, you can do that, boo. So I like to tight line. And if you can see the difference, it looks like I'm got eyeliner on over here but you can still see that pink in here and so it gives, it breaks your look up a little bit so I like to tight line I just started doing this but I like to do it with a crayon I don't like doing tight lining with um, liquid I haven't mastered that yet some people can do it I am not one of them and I really wish that Limelight would get some crayons or some colored liners because I'm really into them right now. And I think at some point we will, but I just like a good crayon liner. So yes, tomorrow, if you see me live and my hubby's with me, like and share and comment and get as many people as you can watching with us because I will be doing his makeup live on Facebook. So at this point, I think I'm going to just do some mascara. Um, if I was going out, I might attempt to put some lashes on. This is a look that I would not put liquid liner over because you want the blue to show and I wouldn't want a black liner. That's why I tight line too because when, as soon as you flip your lashes up, it makes your lash line look like you have eyeliner on and I don't on top. So it keeps my eye open. Oops. A little bit of extra fibers. This is a new tube so I keep getting fibers on the tip of my brush. Which sometimes that happens and you just have to clean them all. That's just the nature of having a fiber mascara. Hey guys. Mandy, did you... Did you and Kyle have fun when you did his makeup? Because Cecil's going to let me do that tomorrow. But I have to have so many viewers. He said that that was the, the only way he's going to do it. So we're going to try to sit down tonight and figure out how many viewers I have to have on before he'll let me before he'll let me apply makeup to his face I'm thinking 25 would be good but you can see how if I wanted to make this black and blue like my um, post said it would be fairly easy um, I have this amazing gray color actually in my onyx palette that I could blend used as my transition with gray so it would have been really pretty and it would have been like a lot smoky eye and um, this black right here actually you can see it it has a blue shimmer to it so I like pairing it with blue a lot but this is my little eye look and I like it. Like it pretty good. I don't have my eyebrows done, so don't look at them. But I'd pair this with a little nude lip and preferably without a wing liner and just throw on some lashes. But since it's you know, almost bedtime, I'm not gonna put lashes on. <laughs> But that's the colors. The blue I used, once more, was the blues I used were in here in my Supernatural palette. I used Jerk and Grace. And I used a little Free Will to highlight my brow bone and aspect a little bit. And then I used this Tardiest Pro to Go. I used the color Crisp for my transition shade. Now, if I was wanting to really glitz it up, there's a color in here called Boss. I don't know if you can see it. And it's kind of a gold. I 
and I'd add just a little bit of a little bit of glam to it. Just a little bit of shimmer. Doesn't really change the color. I could do something like that. There's just a lot of different ways you can play with colors. You, so if you're afraid of colors, don't be. It's just makeup. If you don't like it, that's what the makeoffs are for, and you just rip it open, <laughs> wipe your face off, and go and do it again. It's not a big deal. A lot of people are like, I could never wear that. Start with something small. If you normally wear all, you know, neutral colors. This one is just a little bit different than most neutrals. It has a little bit of orange to it. So step out and do that. Or um, get you a nice olive green. That is a good place to start too. Um, and Limelight has one. It's Olive Olive Ways Loved You or something like that. It's a nice matte. It's a good hunter green. This possession color would be pretty. It has a tiny little bit of green just to get you used to playing with color. Um, and I know after you start like trying playing with colors that you will try different ones and you will fall in love and you will find the colors that you love the most. Um, if you ever want me to help you with what colors would be best for your eye color and skin tone and stuff like that, totally don't care to help you at all. I can do that. We can customize you a palette. I can suggest palettes that you can go get at Sephora if that's what you prefer. Whatever you want. So, um, oh, my Reiki died, so it's a good thing I'm signing off. So, I will see you guys ooh, tomorrow. And remember, if you see me tomorrow, spread the word. I will be doing hubby's makeup, and I'm going to have to have at least 25 viewers. So, like, share, share with everybody you know, tell them that I'm doing it, just so they can see a dude with a beard have a smoky eye. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.